Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this complete Python tutorial series, we are going to learn all about Python. We're going to start really from the beginning. If you don't have any coding experience and you want to learn Python, then this is the right course for you. We're going to learn Python as a first language. There are many new projects and Python code are waiting for you. So before you're getting late, let's get started. So the first question comes in, what is Python? Python is an object-oriented high-level programming language primarily used for web and app development. Python is relatively simple, so it's easy to learn since it requires a unique syntax that focus on readability. Developer can read and translate Python code much easier than other languages. Python can be used in automation, applications, websites, AI, and more. Python can be used to connect database servers, modify and read files. Python can be used for rapid prototyping or for production-ready software development. Python was designed for readability and has some similarities to the English language. So learning Python is super easy. Let's take a look at how to install Python in your local system. To install Python, head on to python.org and then click on the download. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of Python is 3.8.3. Chances are, in the future, when you're watching this tutorial, there is a newer version of Python available. Don't worry, all the concept we learn in this course will apply to the latest version of Python as well. So let's go ahead and click on this download Python button and download this Python in your local system. Now, once you download the Python, open it. Once you open the Python, you're going to see install Python window where you can install the Python in your local system. I'm going to just check this add python to path checkbox. This checkbox will add the python in the environment variable. So I'm going to check this checkbox and click on this install now. Now the python was successfully installed in a local system. Let's close this window. Now the time is to install the code editor which we're going to use to execute python code. So I'm going to just open the jetbrains.com slash pycharms. There are many free code editors available to write python code. For example, Visual Studio Code, Atom, Sublime Text and so on. The one I'm going to show you in this tutorial is PyCharm. This is one of the most popular code editor to write Python code. You can get this editor from jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. PyCharm is considered as IDE, which is short for Integrated Development Environment. This allows you to write, test and debug your code more easily. Now, to download the PyCharm, let's click on this download button. Now, here on the download page, you can see two versions of PyCharm. One is the professional edition, which has additional features. You have to pay for that. The other is the community edition that is absolutely free. And that is what we are going to use in this tutorial. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to choose Windows here and click on this download button to download PyCharm. Download and install PyCharm editor in your local system so we can write the Python code. So I'm going to just open my PyCharm editor and create a new project. So I'm going to just click on this file and select new project. I'm going to name this project tutorial. So I'm going to choose here tutorial. And here I'm going to leave everything as it is and click on this create button. Click on this window to create a new project. Now, as you can notice, I have a new project open in this PyCharm editor. And in this directory, I'm going to create different Python files. Let me just open the terminal to check Python is successfully installed or not. So I'm going to just open a terminal and to check Python is successfully installed or not, you just need to type a command python hyphen hyphen version when you press enter you're going to see python 3.8.3 .3 is installed in your local system now let me just show you how you can write a python code in the python console so i'm going to just type here python and press enter so now you are in the python console here you can write any python code for example if i want to print hello world then i'm going to call here print function and in the double code i'm going to write hello world when I press enter, I'm going to have a text, hello world. That's super easy. Now, what if I want to add two numbers? I'm going to say here 2 plus 2. And when I press enter, Python will return the addition of both these numbers. Using this Python console, you can write any Python code in the terminal. But writing code in the terminal is overwhelming. So let's create a new file in the project and write all this code in the file. And execute a file using terminal. So let me first exit from this console. So I'm going to just type here exit and specify parenthesis this is going to be a function so i'm going to just execute it and press enter this will exit from the python console let me just clear the screen let me open the project in my project i'm going to create a new python file 
So I'm going to select Python file and I'm going to name this file index.python. So I'm going to choose index and press enter. This will create index.py file. The extension of this file is py. Now keep in mind all the Python files have .py extension. It's significant. Now let's just print hello world using this Python file. So I'm going to say here print and in the double or in the single code you can specify your string. I'm going to say here hello world. A string can be denoted by a double or a single code. So I'm going to just put here double code to specify this is a string and I'm going to print it using print function. In programming terms, string is a series of characters. So you can notice here we have a series of characters and this is what we call a string. To execute this file, we're going to use a terminal. I'm going to open a new terminal. I'm going to just execute this file. To execute this file, I'm going to just say here python and then I'm going to just specify the name of this file. I'm going to say index.py. When we press enter, you're going to have a message, hello world. So the python file is now successfully executed in the terminal. You're not limited to only print string in this print statement. Instead, you can print arithmetic operations as well. I'm going to say here 5 plus 5 and when I execute this statement in the terminal, I'm going to have 10 as a result. Now, if you just take a look at your PyCharm editor, then on the bottom left corner, so you have Python console. You can write your Python code here as well. If I say here 4 minus 5, this will just give me a result of this statement. And if you want to print a statement, you can just say here print. And I'm going to say here Python and just press enter. I'm going to have a result Python. Now, this is a very easy way to write your Python code. Whenever you want to execute your Python file, you need to execute this python index.py command. To solve this problem, if you are using PyCharm, then you have a very easy way to execute a Python file. Let me just close this Python console. Now I'm going to just click on this add configuration and then I'm going to click on this plus sign to create a new configuration. I'm going to click on it and select Python. Now here I'm going to choose my Python file. So you can notice here I already have the Python file selected on the script path. I'm going to specify the name to this configuration Python and then I'm going to click on this apply button. Press OK. And now when you click on this play button, you can notice the index file is now executed in the Python console. You don't have to write this command to execute your Python file. Let me just move this window on the left side. And now let me just show you something interesting. In the print statement, if I just specify here single quote, and in the single quote, I'm going to specify asterisk, and I'm going to just multiply it by 20. And when I execute this dead man, I'm going to have 20 asterisk as a result. This is a type of string. I'm going to multiply it by 20 numbers. Now we use multiplication operator to multiply a string by number. When you execute this program, you will get 20 asterisks. Instead of just printing one asterisk, Python consider this code as expression. Expression is a piece of code that produces a value. So this is a type of expression. Python multiply this asterisk 20 times. Now what you need to understand here is Python code gets executed line by line from top to bottom. The Python interpreter execute Python code from top to bottom and converts it so the machine can understand. Now let me just print some unique code characters using print statement. So let me just get rid of the statement and here in the single code I'm going to add backward slash u2600 and I'm going to multiply it by 20. When I execute this statement, I'm going to have 20 sun icons. So here I'm going to just use unique code and multiply it by 20. And I'm going to have the result something like this. So now you can work with different unique code characters and write your first Python program. Now as an exercise, use this print statement to draw a sun, cloud, faces and so on using unique code characters. Till then, I will see you in the next one.